It's Chris Dastor with SA Footballer with the Division 3 results from yesterday. Clinton got over Walkerville, 18 goals, 14, 122 to 7, 8, 50. Westminster beat Portland, 19, 12, 126 to 5, 12, 42. Seton Ramblers beat Flinders Park, 13, 30, 91, 9, 12, 66. Morpeville Park beat Pembroke, 14 goals, 8, 92 to 6 goals, 6, 42. And North Haven beat Scotch, 14, 12, 96 to 11 goals, 17, 83. And I'm joined with the North Haven coach, Mark Tyler. How are you, Mark? Good, thanks, Chris. Yeah. So how, what did you think about the win yesterday? Oh, look, we went into it uh, knowing Scotch were going to be a, a, a good side. I mean, even though being coming down from Div 2, but the fact they come from Div 2, that they'd be a, a good side, fit, strong sort of side. And, uh, to get over them first up uh, was, was fantastic. So you guys won the flag last year and then they were relegated. So did you think it was going to be an equal battle? Yeah, well, I think uh, we're looking towards every every game as an equal battle, and uh, we'll play out every game as they come now. We're going up a grade, so we uh, we're looking forward to a challenging year. And uh, where where do you kind of see the trajectory going for the season? Oh, look, we hope to continue to build on on the start. Yesterday, it's only early days, but uh, we've got some. I've looked at the opposition sides, and we got. They're all tough games, so uh, we just look to compete. And if we do that well, we uh, give us our chance, give ourselves a chance at the end of the year. So, looking back over your pre-season now, how do you think your pre-season uh, regiment worked out now that the round one's over? Yeah, look, we uh, made I made a conscious effort to uh, up the the fitness sort of states again from what we were last year. We were very fit last year, which went a long way to our success. We've upped that again, and, and, and playing the game yesterday was uh, uh, especially against uh, Scotch, who I think pride themselves on that side of the game. Um, we ended up uh, finishing out the game stronger, so there's a bit of a tick for the hard work that the boys have been putting in throughout the uh, preseason. And are you uh, happy with where the squad's at now as well? Yeah, look, we had a, we've got a couple of injuries, but uh, we've got one coming back next week. Uh, Jack McCafferty, who from our side, like, premiership side last year, he'll come back next week. Uh, but we're just waiting on a couple of others from yesterday. So uh, they went out early in the game, which made the win even better. All right, cool. Thank you, Mark.